Hey everybody, at BV Matson here real quick. Luck it out here on the CB77 rims. Not gonna have to delace these, which I'm excited about. I think I'm gonna be able to just clean and polish these by hand. This one is really, really, really clean. And I tell you what, I just pulled this out of my red gorilla tub full of evaporust. I just put the rear wheel in here, but this was my process for doing this. Red Gorilla Tub, check this out. Red Gorilla Tub for the win. I'm telling you, these things are so useful. The 9.2 gallon version will allow you to put your 18, 19 inch rims, fill it with evaporust and do cleaning. I find myself grabbing this thing all of the time, whether or not I'm cleaning parts, degreasing parts, or just need to contain a mess. These things rock. Pick one up via the link in the description. All right, the tub fits these wheels perfect. 18, 19 inch, doesn't matter what you're, you, what you're doing. But then the next thing you wanna do is get yourself some evaporust. Here's the magic stuff, evaporust. Telling you, you're gonna be a believer the first, after the first time you use this. Can use it on anything, nuts and bolts and chrome and aluminum, well aluminum doesn't rust, but you know what I mean. Uh, you can use it on everything for all of these parts for our motorcycles. Ooh, couple of that with a red gorilla, you're in business. Say it with me, Evaporust for the win. I'm telling you, give this stuff a try. It has never failed me. I can honestly say it has never failed me and it has saved me so much money in parts. I'm telling you, give it a try. It's a miracle liquid, it works great. Uh, if you'd like to support the channel, be sure to pick some up via the link in the description. Evaporust for the win. These wheels, you know, they're gonna have rust spots on it, but I'm telling you, if you just submerge your wheel in some evaporust, come back, kind of agitate it, wipe it down every few days, in a week, it's going to be looking about like this. Take a look, not an ounce of rust really left on this thing. All I gotta do is painstakingly go through and polish this. So Red Gorilla Tub Evaporust, you're gonna need about three gallons, I think, to do an entire wheel. So Evaporust, not the cheapest stuff in the world, about 20 bucks a gallon. So you've got 20 bucks for a Red Gorilla, you got about 60 bucks in Evaporust, which you can reuse, by the way. And then what I'm having some great luck with today is this Mother's Mag and Aluminum Polish. I've been really impressed with how this stuff is cleaning up these old oxidized spokes. Um, it's a labor of love. It's manual time, all right? You're just going to have to get in there and do it, but it's not too coarse, not too abrasive, and it's leaving a really nice polish. If you'd like to support the channel, be sure to pick some up via the link in the description. This stuff is doing a number. Here you can see one of the spokes that I just hand polished. They're all really dull. You can see they're just really dull and, you know, they're oxidized and dirty, but I'm telling you, you spend a minute or two on each one of these and they're shining up. I'm really lucky because these spokes are in great, great, great shape. Um, they're not pitted, no bends, everything's nice and true. The only thing I'll have to go back and spend time on is I'll probably take a 400 sandpaper to the main hub and then hand polish this, okay? And that's gonna come out looking just like a mirror, just like we've done before. It doesn't look like there's clear coat on this, so that's a win. If you do have clear coat on your hubs, you're gonna need to strip that off with something first, some aircraft stripper, maybe some citrus strip, something like that might be able to do it. But having great, great luck with mag and aluminum polish here to clean up the individual rims. Uh, this is a labor of love, all right? There's no way around it. It's gonna take time uh, to get in here and clean this up. But big win and uh, actually big money saving opportunity here because, you know, Relacing isn't really a cheap endeavor unless you do it yourself. Then you've got truing, then you've got all these other things going on. But this wheel is in great shape, and by the time I'm done with it, with polishing, it's going to look yeah, pretty damn good, all right? It's going to be uh, pretty minty. It's going to be nice. So I just wanted to show you that, man. Red Gorilla Evaporust, about a week. Um, come in, agitate it, swing it around, pull it out, wipe it down, um, and just uh, keep letting the Evaporust do its work. 
took about a week and uh, I haven't really touched this other than these this handful of spokes right here so it can be done just going to take a lot of time one spoke at a time and then really doing a solid job on getting this as beautiful as possible that's it all right hope you guys enjoyed the video if so be sure to subscribe also don't forget about the facebook group the keep on wrenching community group and uh, also if you'd like a free sticker hit up keep on wrenching.com this stuff's winning right now this stuff's winning Doing really, really good. All right, see you in the next video or live stream.